Hello there and welcome to June 2019 paper 1 for A2 Maths. Here we're looking at question 7. So, in a simple model, the value V of a car depends on its age T in years. The following information is available for car A. Its value when new is £20,000. The value after one year is £16,000. Use an exponential model to form for car A a possible equation linking V and T. Well, this model here, V, is going to be equal to B A times B to the power of T. A is its starting value, and B is the change, uh, the decimal change in price. Okay, so its starting value is going to be um, £20,000. So I know what A is going to be equal to. Now I need to work out what B is going to be equal to. And I need to work out the decimal um, multiplier change from 20,000 to 16,000. So it's going to be 16,000 divided by 20,000. If I do that on my calculator, 16,000 divided by 20,000, I get 4 over 5 or 0 0.8. So 0 0.8 is going to be the decimal multiplier for, um, for my car. And you can check that by substituting in t equals 0 and t equals 1 into the equation. And you should get 20,000 out when you put 0 in and 16,000 out when you put 1 in. So there we are. That's the answer for part A. Moving on to part B and C, I'm just going to write that answer up here. 20,000 times 0 0.8 to the power of t. So its value after 10 years is £2,000. Evaluate the reliability of your model in light of this information. Well, what I'll do then is I'll put in t equals 10 in and see what the value comes out to be. v equals 20,000 times 0 0.8 to the power of 10. So let's grab my calculator and do that. If I put that in, I get... 2,147.48. So this model is not too bad. The model is accurate. But a little high. But a little high. Moving on to part C, the following information is available for car B. It has the same value as car A when new. Its value depreciates more slowly than that of car A. Explain how you would adapt your model you found in A so that it could be used for the model of the value of car B. Well, if it's uh, depreciating more slowly, then the decimal multiplier is not going to be 0 0.8. The decimal multiplier, the value of 0 0.8 will be will be slightly higher but not greater than 1 because um but not greater than or equal to 1 because when it's greater than or equal to 1 it's going to appreciate so the model for car B, VB, is going to be equal 20,000 times B to the power of T, where B is going to be a number that's in between 0 0.8 to 1. So it's going to be higher because the depreciation is less, so less is being knocked off of it each time. So say if it was... Um, 0 0.9, it would only be depreciating by 10% each year. But in model for car A, it's depreciating by 20% every year. So there we are. That's the answer for question 7. 7 marks that one. Not too bad. There we are. So let's now move on to question 8.